Hello everyone, my name is Preeti and this is my fourth video in the series titled Implementing Blockchain Using Hyperledger Fabric. In the previous video, we have discussed about how we can build a specification document review model using blockchain. Now I know this is not the best approach ever since we have other better approaches like we have Git which does the version control so well. But please bear with me. The intent of this video is just to get a hands-on experience on how we can build a prototype in blockchain using Hyperledger Fabric. Okay, so let's dive into the implementation. If you're a Mac user, life is a bit simpler for you. If you're a Windows user, don't worry, we just need to do a few extra steps and then we are all set. So, for Windows user, you need to install Ubuntu on your system. There's a very good blog on Medium explaining step by step how you can start using Hyperledger Fabric on Windows 10. I followed it by the letter and except for a couple of modifications, it worked perfectly for me. The two steps I performed differently were, first, instead of running sudo apt install npm, I executed sudo apt install aptitude followed by sudo aptitude install npm. And secondly, instead of running the command given in install Hyperledger Fabric, uh, I executed these. I have mentioned the medium link and these commands in the description section below, so you don't have to worry. Now that we are all set, let's see how we can start building our application. Now that you have cloned the fabric samples on your local system, you can actually navigate through it. There are three things we have to worry about, the network, the chain code, and the services. Let's start with network. In fabric samples, I found two networks first network and the basic network. Now for this example, that this POC that we are implementing, basic network seems to suit our needs better. For now, we don't need to change anything in this. By default, there is one peer in the network. If you want to add any more peer, then you need to modify the docker compose.yaml. Now coming to the chain code, you can see that in the folder, Fabric samples, there is this chain code folder. Just open it. There are chain codes of various applications. We are going to create one more folder for our application, that is the smart review. Ideally, there should be a node and a go folder containing identical code in the respective languages. But I have just written the code in Node.js. So you can see that in the node folder, we have two files, the package.json containing the node packages to be installed when we run npm install and the second file is the chain code. Let's have a look. So we do a require on fabric shim which provides the API for application developer to implement smart contract and the util. Then we have a constructor block, the init block and the invoke method which is called when an application tries to invoke an application uh, a, a chain code function so it fetches this uh, function name and the arguments passed by the application next we can see is the init ledger which is responsible for creating the genesis block that is the first block in the chain code we are trying to create three separate documents then we call a chain code stub dot put state function and pass the buffer containing our document. The init ledger uh, the init ledger method is called when we start the network. We'll show you in a jiffy. Next, I have created methods to do different tasks. The names are self-explanatory. So this is a query document method which queries a particular document based on the ID that you have provided. This query all document queries all the documents that are, uh, that are present at any time. Then you can change the document owner. We can change the document content. This is the main uh, method actually. So if you want to change or you want to review a document, you can change the content using this method. And finally, we have the get history for all documents. So this basically tells the history of all the documents in the network since the inception. So whatever has transpired since the inception of that network can be fetched with the get history. 
Now that we have the chain code ready, let's have a look at the services that invoke this chain code. In fabric samples, I have created a smart review folder and I have modeled it similar to the Fabcar example. I have picked up the register user, enroll admin, and the startfabric.sh. Now, I have not modified the register user and enroll admin. I had just did a couple of changes in startfabric.sh. That is, I changed the chain code name. A very important point to remember is that every time you modify your chain code, even if it is a single letter change, always remember to, to change the version number here in these two lines and start restart your Windows Docker instance. So if you have a look at the startfabric.sh, you can see that we are doing three major operations here, right? So one first one is to install the chain code on every peer in that network. Secondly, we are instantiating that chain code. And finally, we invoke that chain code, right? So you can see that in this, we are doing the init ledger. So init ledger, remember, creates the genesis block in our network. It's quite simple. Next, for every operation, I have created a JavaScript file. So you can see that we have one file for fetch history, for query, and for update document. Now these files are similar to the query.js in the Fabcar example. I've just modified them a bit to meet our needs. As in, the input arguments are changed according to our needs and the transaction proposal is different. So this is what you have to change anytime you want to call a different function in the chain code. Right? Here I am trying to change the document content and accordingly I am passing the document ID and the content. You can actually go through the query.js and see what exactly is happening within a blockchain network. So you can see how a transaction is created, how proposal is sent to the endorsers, then it is sent to the ordering service, and finally committed, right? So you can get my changes from the Git repository, and play, you can place them in the fabric samples. Run npm install in smart review chain code and services folder, and then you should be good to go. All right, time for demo. I've already opened Ubuntu Bash in Administrator and navigated to the Smart Review folder. As I, I might have some sale Docker instances, I will run these two commands, the Docker RM and the Docker Network Proof. Now that everything is clean and fresh, let me start the network. Don't forget to give the node option while starting the network because otherwise it will pick up the Go chain code which doesn't exist in our case. So you can see that when we start the network, it is first installing the chain code on all the peers. It is instantiating it and finally it is calling the init ledger. So the genesis block is created. All right, once the network is ready, we need to enroll the admin first. We can do this by just saying node enroll admin JS. So, so it enrolls the admin. Next, we have to register our, our user. So I'm just going to register Alka. Also, I'm going to register a different user that is user1 because that is the default user that is being used everywhere in our network. While we do query or anything else, right? Okay, now let me just query the Genesis block right now just to check what exactly is there in our network. So I'm just going to run query uh, JS with user Alka, right? So here, we should be able to see all the documents that are there, right? So we have this, these all contents. Now, say I want to update any document. I can just say node update 
document i'm going to give an id say I'm, i i want to change the uh, review document one and i'm going to get give some content hello uh, everyone i am doing some changes okay so when we execute this the review doc 1 will be modified and the content will now be this one so now let us see whether the changes has happened so i'm again going to run let me just clear this first so i'm again going to run the query and now the content should have changed so now you can see that the new content is here okay now say we want to uh, fetch the history of what exactly has happened so we just want to say node fetch history with the user right so here we can see that whatever has happened since the inception of this network whatever changes have happened with the timestamp so this way nobody can escape us if anybody has made any changes we have it right here in the ledger this is a very simple implementation of a basic idea i'm sure you can implement something much better i hope this implementation helped you because this was just a basic poc and not something we can actually use a lot of learning and effort has gone in from our devops expert alok mitra our all rounder tejaswini paparna well the dynamic preeti sharma that's me and our problem solver kolol mishra so keep coding keep developing new code see you next time